Hello, I wanted to do just a real uh, nice casual walkthrough of what it looks like to host an expo booth with Zoom events. Expo booths are a powerful way to create a face-to-face -face connection. Maybe you have sponsors or departments or uh, internal executives that you can all put in a, in a space for people to self-select and navigate to those booths to learn more about that uh, product or service or offering um, and engage in conversation. So let's look at what that looks like. I'm in a multi-session uh, event here, Zoom into the future of hybrid work. I'm gonna navigate to the expo. Here is our uh, expo floor with a couple of our sponsors for this event. These are Zoom uh, Zoom buddies, as it were, in this case. Uh, I'm the host of this event. I own this whole event, so I can go to whatever booth I want, start whatever booth I want, which is super great. Um, if I was just an exhibitor, um, a booth representative or an exhibitor a main contact, I would just have access to start my own booth, which, uh, which makes sense. Um, be that as it may, everyone enters your event and experiences this event through the lobby and through this uh, expo floor experience, just like what we're going through. So let's navigate over here to this booth and let's enter the booth. I just entered the booth where if I'm an attendee or a, a sponsor contact, I have the same level of access where I can see video content or images, whatever um, material we wanted to provide. There's some downloads up there. We can even um, we can even have a separate little chat group just for this uh, sponsor, which is super great. But let's start a booth. So you see here I have two spaces. Spaces equal meetings. So you can have up to two, um, up to four if you have uh, other sponsor tiers up to four uh, spaces they can all be separate meetings with separate topics and separate labels you can um, kind of curate different experiences that way if you want to in this case let's just start this uh, this one right here the space is inactive let's get it going when I hit start, this is actually going to open my Zoom client. You can see there my little uh, window starting that, and we have just launched a meeting together. So we just launched a meeting that is in that expo floor space, and now we can host this meeting, welcome people in, share content, um, have any of the conversations that we want to have. So let, let me show you around a little bit of what it looks like to manage this meeting from an exhibitor um, side. One, you can see up here, we have the option to start live stream for Expo Booth. You see this right here at the top, um, not now or start. Let's look at what it looks like in the Expo floor without it being started. So you see here, let's zoom in so we can kind of see what this booth looks like a little more front and center. You see that the space is live. This is what other attendees would see as well. And you have some just basic in progress, come talk with us uh, language, but you're not seeing any faces or any content that's shared at any time. Let's change that. Let's start live streaming to the expo floor. That's great, you see that pop up. You see a couple of things happening. I see a recording that I can stop or pause anywhere along the way as the host. And I also have control over that Expo booth live stream. So if I wanna be streaming for a little preview for people to see, um, great, or if I wanna stop it. Let's look at what the preview looks like. There, there is the little preview. Now, instead of just some blue text, um, we now have a live image, a live preview of whoever's in there uh, speaking and talking and engaging. Um, this will be sort of an active speaker view, whoever might be in there um, talking. So if that's kind of what you want, great. If not, turn off the live stream, no big deal. Let's look at a few other uh, host things that you can do here in this meeting. Um, at the end of the day, this is a Zoom meeting. So all of the normal raise hand, react, share screen, all of those functions are available to me as the booth host, um, as well as since I'm the host of this meeting, first, first exhibitor in gets the host role, um, I have the ability to control and dictate all kinds of participant activities. So the one I wanna point out here is enable or disable waiting room. So not only can we have a booth that people can self-select, I can have waiting room enabled that actually holds people uh, in that waiting room space before they enter. Maybe I wanna screen who they are. Maybe we're having smaller conversations where I only wanna let maybe a few people in at a time. That's great, very common. I can enable that, or maybe in my case, I don't want that. So I'll turn that off. Um, you can also see then here in the host tool, a variety of those other uh, meeting participant uh, tools. So maybe you wanna suppress some of these or, or leave them as is. Up to you. The other thing I love pointing out here is breakout rooms. So yes, on an expo floor, I can also launch breakout rooms in this meeting. So as a booth, I can have a few spaces. And then even in these spaces, I can have um, additional breakout room conversations. So let's, let's create a couple. Maybe I have a sales rep ready to go in one room and I have a technical lead in another. 
this is great. So that if I, as the booth host, uh, am man managing these conversations and any of these conversations uh, require the need for more one-to-one, face-to-face uh, conversations, look how easy it is for me to have some rooms ready to go. I can even open them and then I'll have a list of participants and I can simply uh, assign them into the rooms. Um, that's appropriate, super simple and quick for me to uh, have one-to-one -one conversations. I can think of a ton of use cases where you might want to have those um, face-to-face interactions, just like we would on a physical trade show booth where maybe there's a bunch of group conversations, group demos happening, but then every once in a while, the conversation requires a little more care. So lots you can do with Zoom events, Expo Floor. I encourage you to check it out. This is available to all multi-session events. Um, so even if you are only doing a, a single session and an Expo Floor, schedule a multi-session event, build out your Expo Floor, and uh, most importantly, let us know how successful you are with it. Thank you for choosing Zoom events. Have a great day.